So let's get straight to it. A read uh, of the market from Market Watchers Eddie Gabor and Nicole Webb. Thanks for joining us. Eddie, let me start with you. Is it earnings? What exactly is pushing stocks up today? So there's multiple reasons why, but earnings, I would say, is number one here for today. You know, coming into the fourth quarter, consensus got so bearish that they've set the bar pretty low. You know, they thought these earnings weren't going to be strong because of supply chain issues and because of the higher cost of doing business. But these companies have shown they've been able to pass some of these costs onto the consumer and earnings have been fantastic. Uh, and now you have the bears that are in a tough spot that they're having to play catch up and chase this market. And that's why this fourth quarter is going to be huge. We are going to go a lot higher than where we are right now, in my opinion, because of that dynamic. Eddie, how high do we go on the S&P? Look, I think we could easily go up another 5% between now and year end. And when you look at the cyclical trade, uh, like energy, natural gas, commodities, uh, you could see double digit returns between now and the end of the year, uh, because there's that much cash that came in so bearish that they have to jump in and chase this rally because they completely missed it uh, right. four or five weeks ago when everyone was calling for this major crash that never materialized. We have some major names opening their books, reporting after the close today. You've got Microsoft and Alphabet. Look, Eddie, Microsoft shares hit a new high today, another new high at 312. Is there more room for them to run? Do you think you should buy them now when they're pushing these record Look, highs and hitting them before the call? So there, uh, to your point, there's definitely more upside in these names. You know, I look at those in regards to more of a longer term hold with great solid companies. Uh, I still favor the energy and financials here. So if I was to make a trade for the fourth quarter to have the most upside, I would be overweight those areas because I think they have more upside than tech does here in the near term. But no question, the Microsofts of the world are as solid as they come and long term they're fantastic holds for the right investor. Nicole Webb, Eddie Gabor, thank you so much for starting the show with us.